Okay, I'm going to let that go dry and then I'm going to put liquid latex on the reverse side. Okay, this is the back of the peacock colored tray and I'm just taking a paper towel that's kind of folded up to make a little brush and I'm putting liquid latex on it and I'll show you that bottle in just a second. I'm not going over the edges, I'm just going up to the edge. You can, you can slather the whole thing if you want to, but it's not necessary. This will dry clear and then when it's ready to come off, you'll just kind of take it off like rubber cement. Liquid latex. And whatever I don't use out of my little cup, I just pour back into the bottle. So I'm going to put this aside to dry and I'll be back. We're going to put the flood coat on the um, peacock colored inspired piece. So B first. I'm using fast set just so I can put my handles in pretty quickly. If you have plenty of time, you can use the medium viscosity. It is runnier. I mean, that's what I make all my creations with. But for flood coats, I will use the fast set blue label. Okay, so now I'm going to fill this up to the mark. I've got about five ounces mixed here, which is more than I'll need pretty much, I'm sure. So if I have a little extra, sometimes I'll coat a coaster if it needs, a, you know, top coat, something like that. Starting my timer at six minutes. Okay, taking my mask off just to talk to you. Um, I always wear a mask though with fast set. There are micro bubbles, it has an odor, and you need to always be safe. So, this is the bottom side of my piece, but I want to really support it because I had one situation where <clears throat> the heat made the piece buckle a little bit and it was kind of a hot mess. I was able to salvage it and straighten it all back out but it was just a lot of trouble. So I'm taking little one ounce medicine cups and I'm just building up this little foundation underneath. I used to do just like four corners but you need to do the middle as well so it doesn't buckle in the middle or anywhere. So. want to make sure it's well supported and that way I know it has no chance of caving on any side. And I have these little straight handles and I kind of like them. Or, and I have the, I painted the edges with my gold jumbo art paint pen uh, by Pebio for artist marker. It's fabulous, especially for edges. And I thought I had that on video, but I couldn't find it, so I must have deleted it or not recorded it when I thought I was recording. So there's that. I never drill holes in my pieces. I always, and I always put my knobs into the resin. So there's that versus a gold handle. And I'm just, for some reason right now, I'm really liking the crystal knobs. So I think I'm still going to go with the crystal knobs. So let's get busy. Move these out of the way for a minute. And let's go ahead and pour the resin. 
But Fast Set has a lot of micro bevels too. Just giving you a heads up on that. So you're going to have to do uh, to stay around it for about 10 minutes or so and keep working on the bevels. Now I'm using my stick which is fine but it's not super easy. So I'm going to wipe it off, save it for another time. So now I'm just pulling it out right to that edge. And I like using this because it sets up pretty quick. You can set your knobs in within 10 minutes of the whole thing. And um, it's not real wet and loose when you heat it like medium viscosity is because medium viscosity has a 30 to 40 minute working time. This has 10 to 15 minutes. And it's very thick like honey. So this gives you more control if you want to do flood coating, that type of thing. So I still have tons of little micro bubbles. And this is where I'm going to use my torch and just keep working on getting rid of them. But don't get too close to set a fire. And you can also be looking for anything that might have fallen in. And sometimes you can't tell if it's fallen in or if it's in the layer beneath. You'll kind of keep getting bubbles that kind of rise and so that's why you kind of got to watch it for a little bit. I also want to make sure my fingers are clean. My knobs in. So right here. Make sure they're kind of across from each other evenly. I don't measure or do anything like that but you can. And then I'm pressing. I'm going to wiggle a bit, very gently. This helps with getting any bubbles to come out or rise. Or, it also kind of makes it kind of bond a bit better, I think. Because when you get like hardly any movement, then you know it's really got a good hold. And then if you see any bubbles, Just continue to pop them. Now I'm going to check around the edges. There is no dripping over the sides. And then you get up and kind of eyeball it. And if you see that you kind of missed Maybe a spot where you didn't get it quite to the edge, then you can take your, your silicone brush and move it. Okay. I think, I don't think the handles are going to move on me. Because they will sometimes move if you're not sure that they're really bonded down. I'm going to use my pinkies just to press one more time. And then I need to cover, but I think this, well, it sits on top of the knobs. So I think that'll be okay. I think it'll kind of hold them. And then it's good to go. And I had already put a flood coat on the matching coasters that go with this. So that shows the glassier look that you get versus not having the top coat on it. But we have to do it in order to put our knobs on because I don't screw them in. I'll be back to show you the end results. 
Okay, it's been four hours or so. The resin is cured. Well, not cured, cured, but it's done. Take off all my little cups. I had one little drip over here on the side. I'm going to heat just that one area. And then literally this is why I don't like the uh, the resin over the gold it will uh, kind of peel off it's kind of weird so that's why I like to do the gold last but anyway you just Take this stretchy <laughs> liquid latex. There's another little drip. Like I said, it's kind of like um, almost like rubber cement. Voila. There's a little dab here. one drip on this side. I'm going to heat it. The resin just doesn't like to stick over that gold for some reason, so I'm just going to go back and touch up. This is oil based, so I need to let it dry well, but uh, anyway, the tray is complete. So, kind of inspired by the peacock colors. And there are some little micro bubbles, but I am not going to worry about that. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye bye.